All right, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at how my trailer was stolen. I'm gonna go ahead and back my truck up to here and I'm gonna just go through the whole process that I saw in the video camera and the lessons that I learned about how this was done. So let's take a look at that. Now, you're gonna see me use my electric jack. Just remember, even if you yank the batteries out of your RV, as soon as they plug the seven pin into the tow vehicle, they have juice. So that doesn't matter. Even if they didn't have juice, these things are pretty standard. Um, there's a manual override in it that they can just drop it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it was done. And I'm gonna leave this lock on here because it's not necessary to take off for this video. So let's watch this. First thing you're gonna do is lower it below the ball. Now they're going to back the truck up. All right, now they're going to raise it back up. Right to there. As you can tell by looking at this, no tongue jack lock, even the box that I have, would stop this if the chains were out. All right, now I have the chains wrapped around there. Remember, these chains are designed to support this whole rig. So we're gonna drop this down and watch what happens. All right, it's completely off the ground. The chains are supporting it. Now I'm not gonna drive a thousand miles this way, but this will easily get me out the gate 
around the corner into a vacant lot somewhere where I can spend some time maybe with a uh, cutoff saw or something like that and pull the lock that you have on there off and the lock that's on here off as well and then hitch it up properly and then leave. So it's, it's just that simple, it's just that easy. Um, you've got to lock those chains. All right, now I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on exactly how to do that using a Fort Knox lockbox. All right, now let's take a look at how this Fort Knox lockbox works. So we'll pull the puck out. We'll prepare the first chain. And it is kind of a pain. And occasionally I drop them and have to start over. But you see I'm twisting it up. And I'm twisting it up so that there's not very much slack on the bottom at all. So I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to put in the first chain. Now the second one. And like I said, it's kind of a pain. But had I done this before on my other trailer, I probably still have it. And while I was insured and I got all my trailer back, I didn't get all my stuff. Okay, so now that's on there. The box is sandwiched together. We don't have very much chain to hook to here. We're gonna take the puck, we're gonna push it into the side, and then we're gonna push the lock shut. So it goes in, lock is shut. That's how the Fort Knox box works. All right guys, this is just a snippet from a longer video that I'm putting together. I will show you in more detail on a variety of different things that you can do in order to protect your RV. The biggest key here is to make your RV as undesirable as possible. And I have a much longer in-depth video coming up in the next week or so that will cover all those details.